Hello, welcome to another Gundam Battle Operation 2 video. That is the, uh, the Mudrock, which I only played this, like, once or twice. Uh, surprisingly, because, uh, I like to play support types in this game often. And I just never really touched the Mudrock. It never really interested me. And, uh, I guess after that first or second time I played it. But now here we are with possibly the second or third time I've played this or I'm going to play, what the fuck am I trying to say? This is going to be the second or third time I play this in a match with uh, Taru, Fruity, and Jindri in the random. And I'll say it's a, it's actually a pretty good suit. I, I can see why it's considered meta. Uh, it's really, it, it can lay down a, a lot of fire. It's not to be trifled with. It's got fast mobility, and it's got a shield. Uh, it feels like a proper suit, and not just... A suit with uh, not just a glorified walking tank, like uh, a lot of supports do. It's got a, it's it's just got ways to deal with people, and uh, I actually kind of like it. Uh, I'm still not going to pick it over my my glorious Zoc or anything, but <laughs> but yeah, we decided to go after this one person, just me and Fruity. But the whole team decided to come up, and we just do this glorious thing here, where everybody just pushes in this little corridor. We take out this, uh, I think this is GM3. Yeah, GM3, he is gone, all right. Push up, there's a guy here, Zuda. He's going to get countered, because I know what he's trying to do. If Zuda's close to you, he's trying to go for a melee. And they just fucked him up. <laughs> and, uh, hey, two more guys right here and a guy behind us. So we're going to take out this GM striker real quick. Uh, yeah, he's going to be dead now, all right. <laughs> and then uh, now we got two guys over here. One of them looks like a regular Gundam, so let's go over here. Also, this thing's really good at busting legs. Uh, I think I bust two legs here, just no problem. And it's, like, surprising. Uh, I believe it's going to be that one suit there. I think it's a Gundam. I'm going to get hit by a support fire. Uh, then, you know, I'm back up. And uh, here's some grenade launchers. And there you go. You're now crippled, sir. Time to be a paraplegic. <laughs> it's only going to be for a short time, though, because now you're dead. And, uh, yeah, so it does a lot of part damage. That's good to know. And we decided to, uh, after that glorious push we just had there, we're going to come back and help number five over at E. Uh, just keep an eye on the dude at F2. So I'm going to boost across. Oh, he missed me. Okay. He's going to hit me a little bit with, a, like, a machine gun. I'm pretty sure that's a dude at F, by the way that that happened. And it's the GM3, and we're going to help this random. Taro is going to come in. Accidentally shoot his, uh, shot his teammate, but uh, he's going to intercept the Zuda F. And I'm going to help double team on this, uh, this GM3. Which, uh, yeah, not too hard to do with this suit. <laughs> and just, yeah, there you go. Crippled again, sir. And, uh, more shots at you. And, uh, yeah, I got out of a suit. He is dead. I believe Taru's going to go kill him. And then, uh, now we are pretty, pretty well off ahead here. Uh, almost 4,000 to less than 1,000. Damn. <laughs> so now we have this little front line section here going on. And I believe we just, we're going to decide to just rush and get ourselves killed. See if we can get any other quick kills. And then when we come back, we're going to plan on doing another big rush. Or at least another uh, push. Just so we can get ourselves even more points. So we can stay ahead. Uh, missed that guy. And I just got fucking smoked. I had 3,400 health. And that's going to be, yeah, the Gunner Gundam, which I didn't know it did that much to other supports. Holy shit. I thought that's just, like, what it would do to some generals. But no, I guess that's why people would rather pick it uh, than the uh, the Hyzak Custom, which I prefer the Hyzak Custom any day of the week. But I guess the, the Gunner Gundam does a lot more damage per shot. <laughs> or at least more damage charged, because holy shit, that was a lot of damage to a support. Uh, I'm going to spawn in here. Uh, me and Ginger are going to plan to attack from B side. We're going to jump up on the little cliff, little building you can hop up of. Hop up of. <laughs> yeah, the hop on. While uh, the others push. Pretty reasonable, I'd say. <laughs> Especially with this suit, since uh, its cannons ready up relatively quickly, I'd say. Uh, and they do a lot, they have pretty big splash damage, and, uh, like we, 
said before, or I said before, can uh, break some legs. Speaking of legs, trying to aim so for some legs, and uh, this beam rifle can shoot pretty far too. It doesn't stun, uh, I don't think so at least. From, uh, from what I've been told, it does. it's more like for damage, which is nice. And uh, hey, hit beyond my range there, got my target. <laughs> Poor Zuda F, I think he, his legs are broken too. Yeah, well, uh, it seems our push worked out. Uh, our team's coming up for, looks like, cleanup. And uh, I'm going to help push up ahead. Number five's repairing his suit. And, uh, oh, Taro's getting attacked, so I'm just going to lay some fire down here. Hit one man. Try to go for, uh, yeah, just miss. <laughs> just miss. And then miss trying to hit this uh, Zuda F. Fortunately, though, I'll get his partner here in a second. Uh, I think right here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and he's going to die afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Doing pretty good this match. Holy shit. Oh, rain down some more fire. Oh, my God. Nearly killed him. Just a little bit more damage. You would have been fucking dead. And it looks like we're going to head back towards uh, this base here. Oh, yeah. Cause I'm a fr yeah, Gendry said there was somebody at sea. As the GM Striker. Yeah, GM Striker was on sea. I didn't know Gendry's suit was about to die. I would have held back a little bit, but eh. PS4 skips a tad bit here, but I just did a little bit of damage with my grenades. I think I only hit like one or two. And he's going to try and do a desperate play here, which I, you know what, I don't mind because, you know, it is pretty bad for his team right now. He's going to try and plant a bomb, which uh, Gendry's going to spawn in and stop that while, uh, I guess he's been distracted with me. He's trying, he's facing my direction, but... Yeah, here he just gets out of his suit. <laughs> I try to kill him early on. Wait for that invincibility to go off, but uh, no dice. Gendry's going to intercept him, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish off his suit so he can't like spawn back or anything. And I believe Taru and Ferdy come in to help Gendry. And number five is going to like shortly die because uh, he's by himself. <laughs> I guess he he's being our distraction while we uh, stop this bomb plant. Man, a lot of stuff happened this match. Two big pushes and a bomb plant. <laughs> and now we're just waiting for... Uh, well, the Spore Fire is not really going to do anything now that I'm out of the way there. The only suit they can hit besides Gendry's. And, uh, yeah, they're going to stop it here shortly. And I'm going to hide behind this building. I believe the Gunner Gunner is going to try and come up, or at least somebody. And they're going to get got. <laughs> Uh, yep, they defused the bomb, nice, and now we just, uh, wait out this last minute, and by wait out, I mean we're gonna go ahead and do another push, <laughs> gotta do another one, and yeah, I sense that somebody's trying to come up here, and by sense, I mean I see them on the radar there, they're trying to take E, and Taru killed somebody on E, <laughs> so, fucking good, there's the, uh, gunner, shot out of the air, oh man, that was an expert shot, my beam rifle, damn, <laughs> And some more damage popping off here. Ooh, could have killed that guy. No dice. Uh, there's a gun and gun. And we tackle each other, funnily enough. Uh, Taru and Fruity are going to kill the other guy over there. And I'm going to get last second hit on somebody. So, <laughs> looks like the Gundam. And, uh, yeah. Pretty damn good match. Mission completed. And uh, we'll see what we got going on here. Uh, yeah, top damage is almost 100k, nice, we all beat our rivals, and, uh, let's see, uh, praise Gendry, and Fruity, alright, second place, 4-1, and one. not too damn bad at all, uh, that, yeah, that, that was my first match with the Mudrock after a, uh, a long time, like, I don't even remember exactly the last time I played the Mudrock. I want to say probably like around the first time I was playing this game. Like I said, the Mudrock never really interested me. It's just, uh, I was like, oh, it's a Gundam with uh, with two shoulder cannons. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's what I sounded like when I first played this game. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, maybe I had a really bad match with it or something. So I, I never picked it back up again. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I can see why people like it. Uh, and I can see why I get annoyed with it sometimes. Uh, when that's all people would pick. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's the mud rock. And if, you know, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want. I'd really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, type up in the comment section what you feel about the mud rock. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, I know it's a little bit of uh, love-hate for some people. 
uh, some people don't like it because it's meta, I think. <laughs> and, you know, of course, people like it because it is meta, because it's a really good support. Like, it's actually a good support. Uh, like I said earlier, it doesn't feel like a glorified walking tank. Uh, it feels like you can do something with this suit, and that's nice. It's always nice to have it to be a support and play a support that feels like you can matter in a match. Um, it's not like a fucking Schwartz and Diaz where somebody can walk up to you and kill you in literally like two hits. And that's from a general. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm pretty fond of it now. Uh, it won't replace my love for the Zaka, the Juwagu. Uh, although it's probably definitely better than Joagu. Yeah, it is better than Joagu. So maybe if I want to get super serious for a clan match or something. Uh, well, I got the mud rock now. So, <laughs> And uh, yeah, with that, I'll see you guys later. Bye.